Okay, so now we'll add a different direction on that and we'll create box. Box is probably one of the most commonly used figures in, um, in ballroom dancing, in social dancing. You can use box step dancing foxtrot, box step dancing waltz, box step dancing rumba, and probably that's it, but still it's quite a lot, all right? So um, very, very useful step uh, to know. So here we go. We're going to, I'm going to back you. So now instead of making step to decide as a slow step, we're going to make step forward. So, okay, let's start at this point with the left foot forward, okay? So we go slow, one step to the side, then I go side, replace. That was quick, quick. Now I have my right foot free, and with the right, I go back, back, transfer my weight on the right foot, then I go to the side, and now I replace my weight on my right foot, okay? That was full box, so let's keep repeating it slowly, okay? So I go slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. So I go with the left foot forward, right foot to the side, collecting my left and replacing my weight on the left, making my right foot free, going back slow, and then I go quick, quick, okay, slow, quick, quick, first half of a box, slow, quick, quick, second half of a box, okay, so I always go with the left foot forward, side together, and with the right foot back, side together, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, okay? Good. So it might take a little time to get used to this direction, but believe me, with the repetition, it will stay in your body and uh, it will be like a second nature, muscle memory will kick in and you will memorize the direction, okay? So if you see, we're still using the same timing, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And the cool thing about rumba, the reason I love it so much as a social dance, for entire bronze uh, syllabus, the timing will not change. We will change only direction of our steps, right? We'll move different places, we'll add turns, but timing will be always the same. And for beginning stages, this is the most crucial thing. This is the most important part. That's why I paid so much attention in the beginning, explaining our timing, right? So remember, timing is when we're making steps, right? And when we have dura du duration hours, we have slow steps and two quick steps. Slow is slower, quicks are quick. Slow is two beat, quick is one beat each. So now when we're going to repeat one more time our box step, try to do your best noticing three weight transfer on those timings, okay? So we go and with the left foot, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick and slow, quick, quick and slow, quick, quick. So here's a couple tips, okay? So first of all, rumba, entirely whole rumba is all like, doesn't matter, bronze, silver, gold, you're always going to dance with the ball flat footwork, which means that you're transferring your weight always first on the ball, then on the heel, no heels, okay? So never we're making step with the heel, so right away, try to, try to get comfortable with making step forward with the toe being on the floor. You kind of like tracking and always staying connected with the floor with your toe. And I would even say that you dry in like a little box. You dry in the lines with the toe on the floor. So maintain connection continuously, quick, quick slow, quick, quick, okay? 
good. So it will take as well a while to get comfortable with this. So now when we're making step forward on the slow count, do not afraid to lift your heel higher, right? And bend your free knee. So you see this action? So make sure that you're not dragging entire foot like this. That would be one of the most common mistakes is that you're afraid to lift your heels because your teacher told you that you have to be connected to the floor. So no, you just literally need a little bit of connection, okay? You don't need a whole foot being stuck to the floor. So don't afraid to lift the heel and bend the free knee. Slow, quick, quick. You see, I'm lifting my heel, I go in back slow, and then I go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, okay? Awesome. Another tip would be to always collect your feet on the quick, quick part, okay? So when you go slow, quick, make sure that you're collecting your feet together. You're not leaving the space here, you're collecting feet together and replacing your weight and making your opposite foot free. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, right? So kind of ankle to ankle, alrighty? Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. As well, when you go into the, after you're making steps slow, slow, this part, you need, when you go into the side with a quick, quick, make sure that you're dragging your foot, that you're collecting your feet and then moving it to the side, right? So you go slow, quick, quick, kind of like do not cut corners. So that would be one of the top five mistakes as well. Slow, quick, quick, when you cut in the corner. No, go forward, collect your feet together, and then make step to the side. Slow, quick, quick. But try not to go touch, step, step. Do not go one, pam, pam, pam. Don't overly emphasize. It's a transitional point. Kind of like slide through the standing leg. Step forward, this is your standing leg, you collect it, and then you go side together, step back. Now your right is standing, slide through, side together, slow, quick, quick, and slow, quick, quick. Awesome, good, so now let's try it to music. All right, so music is going to be very slow, specifically, so we would not rush and experience the rumba. And of course, it's not really rumba, but it gives us a good steady beat, okay? So let's start with the left foot, and we're going to do side basic first, okay? So we're staying on the right, left foot is free, we're staying tall, engaging our core, right? And relaxing our upper body, okay? So notice the tension in your shoulders, it's probably there, and let it go, okay? Nice, long spine, okay, and engage core. Finding your weight on the right foot, and as well, try to put your weight more on the ball of your feet, right? So, not back weighted, more front weighted, more on the ball, okay? Ready? So we're gonna go slow to the side, and quick, quick in place. Five, six, seven, eight, slow. Quick, quick, 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 slow. Don't get tense, stay relaxed, but tall and engage. And stop right here, okay? Awesome, so now we'll do a box, okay? Starting with the left foot forward. Ready? Five, six, ready, go, slow. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Remember to press on the floor with the toe, slow, quick, quick. Collect your feet at the quick, 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 slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, and slow, and quick, 
quick, okay? Awesome, so now I'll start my music one more time and we'll do those two elements together. Here we go, all right. So we're starting with the side basic, with the left foot, staying tall, and slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and box forward, slow, side together, slow, side together, slow, side together, slow, side together, slow, basic to the side, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and box again, forward, transit your feet through the standing foot, okay, quick, quick, remain your body weight being more on the ball of your feet, whoops, side, in place, side, and of course, when you're replacing, collect your feet, slow, quick, and box, side, together, back, side, together, forward, side, together, back, side, together, okay? Awesome, so in the next video, we'll go a little bit in the technique side, okay? All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Please press this like button. Leave me a comment below. And of course, I will see you very soon on my next video. Until then, please practice this set, okay? You are the best, I will see you soon.